welcome back ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel and today we are back in the bard's tale trilogy we're going to start a new game <clears throat> now i know that you know that i am part way through the destiny night but let's not beleaguer the fact that the destiny night is horrible but we have completed tales of the unknown Look at that Commodore 64 screenshot on the back there. That might be an Apple II, actually. I think the magician down here is... Yeah. Nice. Um, we've completed the Bar's Tale. We're quite far through this one. Listen to that music coming through. But I want to look at the 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 of the 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 fate. I've never played this game. Look at this. I can spin this around. How the heck does that work? I would like you to stop spinning around. How do I... Uh, uh, that is weird! Oh, wow. Okay, anyway. Um, now, in legacy mode, I remember Pack Billy looking through these. And saying you only wanted certain things. Individual inventory is a pain in the ass. So we're going to take it off. However, we are going to play it like it played in the 80s, okay? Individual inventory is just annoying, so I'm just going to take it off. Auto map disabled, F off. No way. We're going to leave this on. You can read what it does. We're going to leave the full XP on, because why not? Game specific songs, so we can only play the Bard's Tale 3 songs rather than all the songs. Save at guild only. Yep, we'll do that. However, I think Bard's Tale 3 still allows for a save. So, But we're going to try not to do saves like we used to. Use unequipped items. We're going to leave that on. So this is how it was played back in the day. No items in empty houses. That's just easy. I mean, it's this is the way you want it, okay? You just take these top two off. And then you can start the game. Let's go. Are you sure you wish to proceed? I think I do. If you cannot kill... Dun, 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 dun. Come hear the tale of Scarabray. A god returned to have his way. Creatures of darkness, spawn of night. The Madawana's kin destroyed the sight. Defenders feel, fell, their bane come tree, ooh. Garth Roscoe, Kylie ran too. As Doom approached, the helpless fled, it did no good, the streets ran redder. Do do doom doom doom. Survivors few, they sit in moper, but with one final ray of hope. Cross time and space, the legends say ye. Heroes at last to steal the day. Wow. They've done well on remastering that, haven't they? <laughs> Volume 3. Thief of Fati. Now, as I lay dying, I leave this record so those who come after will know what horrors that the mad god Tarzan has perpetrated, and so that they will not be lulled into believing that Scarabray was his sole target. We held a great festival to celebrate the victory over Mangar. Then Mangar's master, the mad god Tarjan, arrived. His shadow ravaged the city and foul creatures burst forth to assault fair Scarabray. People ran. But Tarjan's minions left none untouched. Tarjan gloated that Scara Bray was merely one in a series of conquests that would complete his revenge. He laughed when I promised that the legendary Hawkslayer and those who defeated Mangar would return again to triumph. As payment for my threat, he gave a swift twist of his jewelled sword into my belly. 
Tajan must be stopped, for upon this rests the fate of more than Scarabre, eh? more than Caith. Failure will mean the extinction of all life, of the entire human race. Fuck, but she... How can I not read... Okay, so, ladies and gentlemen, when you start this game, first thing to do is you add the 18, which will give us Brian and all the rest of it. Now, you don't actually have to go through and take all their gear, but it kind of helps if you do. And then create all your own dudes. Now, I will show you my created party. Um, so... I've already created it, so let us load in. How does this work? Do we do it from here? Do we hell? Holy sweet Johnny Jesus. I'm outside. Look at that. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. All right, so we're going to load Adventurers 3. I created this uh, four hours ago. Bop, bop, bop. Don't know what that is. Bop, bop, bop. I kind of like that, though. Beep, beep, beep. Not sure. Right, here we go. We're going to load the party that I have created. Okay. Oh, please tell me. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> I'd actually come in and mapped out all of the wilderness for me, for you, not for me. And now I've literally... Just saved over it with these turnips. I obviously didn't save it here. I mean, this is this is the way, ladies and gentlemen. This is the way. Now, this is our party, though. Let's have a look. Let's get back in here. We have a, a paladin, a hunter, a bar. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. A paladin, a hunter, a bard, a rogue, a karanjura, and a maragadurishan. Okay, that's... Just get out. Just get out, okay? Um, it's a beautiful day. And we are going to start. Now, let's have a look at our peeps. Dwarf Paladin. Strength 18, Intelligence 18, Dexterity 13, Constitution 17. As you can see, all the hit points are either in the high 20s, there or thereabouts. That is such a major thing when you create your new party. You want to try and get them... I would say 24 is even a bit too low. You really want them 25 hit points and above. It just gives you the best start out of the gate. You just want it. 100% want, want, want. How How is Shayla? What the frick? Lamp, robes, staff. Oh, she's, she must be... She's an elf. She's an elf conjurer. Nimish. He's a magica. And he doesn't have as good armor class, but who cares? Right. You Targ of Targ is our um, Dwarf Paladin. Strength 18, big hitting. He needs to have big hitting because he's only going to be hitting... Um, his one strike is going to be multiplied as he gets older and wiser and thicker. So he's probably got a halberd. Yep. Chainmail, gauntlet, halberd, helm, tower shield. That sounds about right. Armor, head, shoulders, knees and toes, sort of. Um, Dwarf Paladin, here we go. 18, 13, 17. That's good. 18 and strength of constitution is what you want. Always a high dexterity helps just on the to hit, but also on how quickly they attack in order when we have a battle. Jara Lane, human hunter. Not a bad role for a human hunter. Usually I would go with a half orc hunter, but their dexterity is so low. I I've gone with a human hunter. Um just because. Uh so we have 15 14 14. These I would rather have them a bit higher, but who we don't care about intelligence, literally don't care about intelligence. Luck when we level up, we want these to be going up. Load of hit points, great. Is she using a war axe? She yes, she is. Arabella Sharp is our Hobbit bard. 
Again, the only thing you really want with your bard is high dexterity. High strength would help, but eventually she is going to be in the front row um, when we have another creature come in. But she just won't be getting hit um, because her, her armor class will go down really, really low. Um, high luck, high dexterity, as best constitution as you can get, really high hit points. That's what you want. Cold horn. Doesn't tell me what it does, does it? No, that's weird. Okay, fine. Pippin! Pippin is our f hobbit rogue. Female hobbit rogue. Using the male rogue portrait. But I think it's quite, um, you know, any old what you want. Do what you want. No hair on the legs. Not that that makes you male or female. Doesn't make any difference. But... High dexterity, high luck for a rogue. That's really all you want. As best constitution as you can and as much starting hit points as you can get. Then we have Shayla, Elf Conjurer, 16, 16. These are the two we want. I thought elves could get up to 17 in intelligence, but they can't. And Nimish is 17, 11. So there you go. But high spell points, 21, 29, and 23. That's the party. Let's go. Now... I had previously gone through and mapped out the whole of this level, which we has it's clearly not happened. So we're going to go to Scarabray. We're going to sing our song. Meow 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 meow. I will now have to come back into the game and map out every square. What I've done is gone through it all and mapped out all of these white squares, which means you've seen it but you haven't stepped on it. Which is very annoying, but hey, I will do it. Don't worry. Um, let's just head down and get to the warrior's tomb of McCrickety Crick Crocs. So these places here, the flat grassy plain stretches peacefully out in all directions. This is the Vale of Lost Warriors. These are important in the game. I think there are seven dotted around the map wherever we are. I think Scarabray's about there. Let's see if we can see it. There it is, right there. Let's go into Scarabray. I really like how they do this. I'm just going to bring the uh, game, down, game volume down a little bit. Because it's only background sort of music. Right, there we go. Whoa! Okay, that's weird, but fair enough. Look, even the sound of the wind is, like, really loud. Um, so Scarabray is in ruin. This appears to be the old stables, now converted into a storage space since the horses were eaten long ago when Mangar's ghastly creatures roamed the streets. Would you like to inspect the place for items or drop off? So it does give you quite a lot of items here that you can use, obviously. Um, you can take them or not. It's up to you. Some of them are fairly useful. It's a place to store everything at the minute anyway, so it's not mega useful. But I will take the plate. Why not? And the bows. <laughs> and the fire horn. And the soothing balm and the youth potion. <laughs> and then you can actually pop other things back in. So we can just leave all this crap. That we don't want. Until we find a place whence we can sell it. And that should be everything else we want. Good. Now, if we just quickly check. He has a halberd. She has a war axe. So she can have that. Why is there a buckler here as well? Can she use the war axe? Yeah. Warrior, paladin, and bard. Yeah, use that. I think we should be able to equip that as well, and that. So she should have arrows, longbow, war axe, friggin' everything. P can Pippin use the longbow? Oh yeah, he can, right, cool. There we go. They all have it. 
And the Firehorn will give to Arabella. I don't know what's better, the Firehorn or the Cold Horn. I think we go with the Firehorn. Wow, this... It's a bit loud. So... The actual um, town has been... Ravaged quite some, frankly. I can still hear that coming out of my ears. It's weird. The feeling of evil is foreboding. Now, that's because that was um, Mangar's Tower. Now, you can't actually look around too much of Scarabray. They've turned off most of it. But at least you get to come back in. Was that Keelerin's Tower? Whoa. Either way. Uh uh. Uh uh. Fight bravely. Attack, attack. Oh, I could do a ranged attack. Uh, I'm going to hide and get a defend, defend. Yes. There you go. Arabella smashing it. Yeah, everybody's doing all the business. None of the business. Okay. D, D, D. Yes. Bosh. What the hell is this? How hard is this freaking thing? Uh, you can attack. Hide in the shadows again, DD. This is one monster. Wow. Okay, it's dead. Good. God, all that for that? 150? Right, now we should, get a, we should be able to cast Quick Fix. Yes. Who got hit? Utarg. Boop. Okay, fixed up. Now, as I said, I've never played this game. Through the rubble to the east, you can see the scorched walls of Harkins Castle. In the distance, the partially toppled tower of Kylie. Holy moly! Oh yeah, partially toppled tower of Kylerian. His tower wasn't up there. Kylerian's tower was down there. Oh, maybe it's that tower you we're looking at. Yeah, it must be there. All right, fair enough. They got some heavy, heavy, heavy monster sound effects going on here. Ah, right, here we go. The collapsed remains of Roscoe's Energy Emporium lie before you. It's only yet another victim to the Mad God's attack. Roscoe is dead? Oh, my sweet lord. Whoa. Got above myself there. Now, a couple of the old roads are still here, which is kind of cool. Do you remember this bit? I remember that bit in the original game. That little double-breasted street. Which was just weird. Okay, where are we? Right, so let's get back down to where the Mad God's Temple is. Whoa! There is a statue of the Mad God Tarjan here. It's strange that it's clean and shiny as if someone has been caring for it. Goddamn right! That looks like the Mad God's Temple. I think it allows us to go and visit Sinister. Which is such a lovely little touch. Yeah, this is it, isn't it? Oh, hello. Hookfang, hello. Come and join. Two hit points. You're brilliant. <laughs> wow, he's excellent. I love that. Uh, this should be sinister. Yeah. Teleports us back. It's great. I love that that's still there. Um... Now, I think the review board is here. I don't think Garth's is here. The party sees the old review board to the east. The old man in the review board scratches his head. Yes, you are the prophesized ones, but you've come too early, no matter. Beneath Scar of Bray, you will find one of Tarjan's devotees, Brilhasti Aptaj, is a foul necromancer, and his life impedes my efforts to stave off disaster. 
You may enter the catacombs under the Mad God's Temple by uttering his master's name, Tarjan. Destroy Brilhasti Aptaj, then return to me for your true quest. And then you can get your advancement, spells, class change as normal. Can we talk to him again? Seek out Brilhasti Aptaj! Okay, all right. Shouty. McShoutyson. Uh, and then we can't get anywhere near anything we want. Okay, so that's us. We need to go down into here. However, we go in here, we're going to get smashed. So let's do it. This is where we die straight away. Um, why not? We will say Tarjan. Speak not the name of the High One so loudly, lest he answer, the priest says. Enter the catacombs. Bzz, 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 bzz. Down we go. Uh, right, so let's use a lamp. Bing! Oh, look. We're in a proper game now. We're back in the game. I'm not sure about how loud the music is, frankly. I'm just going to check it. Do 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 audio. God, I've already turned it right down. Let me turn it down a bit more. Okay. Doesn't really sound like No. So we need to cast Magic Compass. Do we have it? Okay, Scry Sky. Mage Flame Trap. Ah, we could use Mage Flame. Didn't really need to cast that. We've got a Lamp and Mage Flame. Brilliant. Right, let's have a look. The smouldering ruins smell odd and seem somewhat unfocused. It seems very much as if they do not belong here at all. Something very alien is present. Now, as I said, I've not played this game. I do like the look of the catacombs, though. They look great. Ooh, Scully. Three phantoms, one dark priest. Now, this is... We just... I mean, crumbs on a bucket. We're just going to get attacked, aren't we? Uh... We're going to attack the phantoms. They should come towards us. She's going to use Firehorn. Maybe on the phantoms. Uh, hide in the shadows. Range attack. They're too far away. Hide in the shadows. Cast a spell. Arc fire 10. That's no good. Uh, defend, defend. Let's see if we die straight away. Whoa, Jesus. Okay. Jeez, well, Utah's nearly dead. That Dark Priest is a nightmare. Fight. Um, attack A. You can do that. Uh, uh, well, you can attack A as well. Ah, oh. Hide again. Defend. Cast... Quick fix on Utarg. We might die here. <laughs> yep, Arabella's dead. Okay then. <laughs> we probably should have spent a little time upstairs trying to, um, you know, trying to level up. Possibly. Just a little bit. Uh, the phantom is still alive. Uh, this is very bad. Right, attack A. Can you try and kill A? Oh, oh, she's dead. Oh, uh, you hide again. Um, you can cast arc fire on the phantom, and you can also cast quick fix back on Utarg. Let's see if we can't not die. Good. Yes, cool. Do you see that? The old um, 
the old, <laughs> the old uh, hook fang. He took one for the team there. Fair enough. Right. So, one Dark Priest. He's a nasty one. I'm going to fight because Pippin is now able to hit him. Pippin to hit him. We're going to defend. Kick dead monsters from the party. Attack folk. Now, I'm wondering if Pippin will do a backstab on this. I don't know if he will. Uh, defend, cast, quick fix on Utah again. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Pippin missed. Okay, so... Um, I guess we're going to have to advance and get hit again. Hopefully that she, that he doesn't hit Shayla. Oh, okay. Now he comes. Right, so I think what we're going to do is fight, attack, just in case he moves forward, attack, ranged attack. Uh, defend, cast, quick fix on Shayla. Oh my god, this is harsh. Woof. Amazing. Right, okay, we're just going to have to get up there. Flipping heck, this is just full on. Okay, right, well now we can attack with all of the, the power that we have, the, all the power that we have, which is none, the power of none. Attack, attack. Now you can cast Oh no, 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 we don't want that. Uh, no, so we want to attack, attack, attack. Look, the bloody conjurer is in the front row. Cast Dark Fire on the Dark Priest, cast Quick Fix on Utah. Don't kill anybody. Okay. This Dark Priest is pretty good. I'm just going to attack him. We're just going to kill him. Come on. We can't hit him. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. So, with 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 our six powers combined, this is how you begin your. <laughs> we'll try again on the next one, and we will. Um... We might go up one level first. Sail my seas, let the ocean lead the way Shake my tree, if it is by the seas I play Eat my cloud, if you need a fix of the juice I sing Choose or lose, because the honey won't stop the sting Choose or lose, because the honey won't stop the sting